Here's a third chance for Warnock, and it's knocked loose, but the Hawkeyes retain possession. Martin tries again, and this time she gets it to fall, and it's 5-0 Iowa to start. It's the pace for IU. And Caitlin Clark gets the return steal off the bad pass from Pat Burke. Nice pace evolving. Sinano gets deep in the post. They left Cardano Hillary on an island down there. Gabby Marshall. And they work it around the perimeter. Warnock gets it to go from distance. And McKenna Warnock with her second pass. Good find by Clark. Great ball movement. Open three for Marshall. Clark uses that screen. She does dump it down low. Sonano with the layup to end the quarter. What a frame and what a start for the Hawkeyes on the road. It's so important for a team going on the road and trying to get a big win. Sonano gets it deep again, draws the foul on Holmes and scores it. The buildup that Caitlin Clark does, but she can get it done. Order of the step back. Finally, Grace Berger gets on the board today in the Big Ten tournament, that extra day of rest. Warnock from deep. Sonano again, and one. Monica Sonano's got 15. FIBA World Championships in 2019 for the under 19 women's team as we see a three ball there go in. McKenna Warnock has been lethal from three today. Will probably be in the 30 point range. Great seal by Martin and it left O'Grady open but she couldn't take the shot. And instead, Caitlin Clark will bury her first three of the game. She's the first D1 player, men's or women's, to have back-to-back 30-point -back triple-double. Clark on the wing, 10 to shoot. She gets doubled. Finds Martin in the corner for a three. Clark now defended by Cardano Hillary. Kicks it out. Fierbach. Boom. Her two redshirt years last season should have been her last, but the COVID waiver gave her one more opportunity to come back. Mackenzie Holmes on the dump down. That's been the case today. Clark's had a good second half scoring wise. 11 of her 13 here after halftime. And you see points in the paint for Grace Berger knocks down the three from the corner. Hoosiers on the run. Moore McNeil open for a moment. Bang! And Chloe Moore McNeil knocks down the three. Almost the unsung hero today. Yeah, 15 points for her. She did start today after coming back from injury. Here's Grace Berger with the bucket. And they, they Indiana needs a play that energizes them. Maybe a turnover or something. Here's Tomi Taiwo to stem the tide again. Tomi Taiwo with a big trip. Clark again. This one's short. Cardano Hillary the rebound. No numbers for IU. Cardano Hillary pushes anyway and scores through contact without a whistle. To defend her inside the paint, but she has just been a dominant force as we see her inside again for another bucket. Make that 22. And gets the bucket. 83-66 Iowa on top of Indiana as Pat Berg finds the bottom with a mid-range. Here comes the crowd as Assembly Hall is into it now. Clark pushes the pace. Finds Marshall, corner three, buried for Gabby Marshall to quiet the crowd. The lead is 12 for Iowa with two minutes to go. Berger pokes it away and lays it in. Steps back to half court and Warnock will hold on to it. Downhill, Warnock off the window. So they don't want her on the floor on defense. Berger draws contact. Great finish on the fade. And Indiana, by the way, Tom, when they out-rebound their opponent, they're 16-0 this season. So that is the magic formula for them. Pat Berg gets her own rebound off the miss. Ghoul Bay tries. This one goes down for Alexa Ghoul Bay. They roll it in to save time. Berger the pull-up three. And that drops. 
feel like we've been here for 10 minutes in this last minute. <laughs> Martin does turn it over. Pat Bird for three, off the mark, and the final buzzer sounds. Indiana falls at home here. A big time win for the Hawkeyes. Thank you.